What's up, Marker Heads? It's Karen from Art by Karen E. Haley, and I really appreciate you guys coming to see my video today. This is an illustration that I did for my red bubble shop. It's of a pink unicorn, and I wanted to have a companion to go with my blue dragon. So I used the same color scheme and made a unicorn to match. And both these designs are on my red bubble and on my store envy shop. Uh, as originals on Store Envy and as prints on merchandise on Redbubble. Uh, in this video, I really want to talk to you guys about an important topic that I think needs to uh, be talked about more in the art community, and it's the do's and don'ts of self-promotion. Before we get into this topic, I want you to join me in an analogy. Let's think of an artist's videos and posts and shops and anything they have online as their artist alley on an online art convention that is the internet. And I want you to imagine being at a physical place, an actual convention with an actual artist alley, and you're an artist at one of these tables. Now, if you are an artist who doesn't have anyone at your table, uh, I can really understand feeling of wanting people to come to your table, but let's imagine that someone with no people at their table sees someone across the way with a lot of people at their table, and they think, there's a lot of people, I'm gonna go over there and give all of those people my business card and ask them to come to my table. What that does is you forget the fact that there's a person at that table, an artist just like you, who is enjoying the fact that there are people there enjoying their work. And if you go over there and try to lure people away from them, it's seen as very rude. And I'm not saying that any of you would ever do that in person. And I don't think that any of you would ever intentionally try to do that online. However, um, there are some things that people do online that is a lot like trying to lure people away from an artist alley table. <laughs> which I have actually never seen in person, uh, thankfully, but I would find that very rude if anyone did that to me in person. Um, but it happens to artists all the time online. People will go to uh, people's channels and try to ask for subscription requests for YouTube channels, or link their shops in someone else's uh, video, or maybe even someone else's post about their own shop, which is very, very rude. <laughs> Don't ever do that. <laughs> Or even do things like put down the artist, go to someone's channel or video or whatever and say, well this person did it wrong, but I can do it better so you guys should check me out. Uh, these are all very rude things, you aren't considering that person. There is an artist there who sees what you write, and what you do online does give you a reputation. It really does. People will know you for what you're doing if you're doing stuff like this. And people aren't going to like you for making these comments. The artist certainly won't like you and won't want to work with you in the future, which is a really important part of building a community is working with other artists. Uh, the other artists have a following and it's better to make friends and just be civil to each other than it is to try and fish their viewers away from them. So I want to tell you right now, don't ask for sub, su sub requests, don't ask for people to go to your shop, and don't ask people for to subscribe to you unless you're saying this on your own content. Your own content is the perfect place to say, please subscribe to me, please visit my shop if you like my work, please uh, you know, leave a comment or a like or whatever it is, but don't leave those things on other people's platforms. Those people have that platform so that they can say these things on their platform because they're not doing it on yours and you shouldn't be doing it on theirs. Uh, so those are the big don'ts. And now let's talk about the big do's of self-promotion so you have the tools to really build your own real community. <laughs> it's so rewarding to have a group of people who like your work and talk to you about it and want to commission you or just ask you for advice and things like that. And that all really stems from the effort you yourself put out. There is no replacement for actual work in terms of doing the legwork to get your, get your stuff out there. 
So let's talk about things you can do. The first thing I would suggest is being active in the community. You can leave genuine comments on other artists' channels. I have followed a lot of people who leave comments on the channels that I watch because they have left something really thought-provoking and not self-promotional <laughs> at all. They're just there to be a part of that other artist's uh, online community. Leave a helpful or compelling comment and uh, it piques your interest and you go to that channel and I've subscribed to a lot of people that way. Uh, going to people's live streams or people in Instagramming with hashtag events, things like that, are really great ways to be active in the community. Uh, or group challenges, or just entering contests is a really good way as well. Because there's a lot of people entering contests who will see your work too. And if you're one of the higher contenders in the contest, a lot of people will follow you. Um, the first like 500 people that followed me were people who were also participating in Bailey J's like first contest back in 2011. And I was just flabbergasted at the success from that. And so I really recommend you to participate in things that are happening in the online community and be present as an artist. When people see you being active as a community member, they really recognize you more. The next thing I would suggest is to do products that would do the promotion for you or projects like Reviewing a product online or uh, again entering contests, that's another way to do it. Or even uh, doing fan art. People find people like me because of the occasional fan art that they put out. Uh, and it's, it's really a great way to do it. Things like fan art is shareable. Uh, things like contests, again, there's a guarantee of other people being there. And uh, things like reviewing products, people will come to you because they want to know what other people think of that product. So these are really great ways to get people to come to you. Uh, the next thing that I recommend really isn't self-promotion itself, but it's networking, which leads to working with others and collaborating. Um, reach out privately, privately, <laughs> to other artists. Don't be leaving comments asking to collab, that's, that's still seen as rude, but um, reaching out to artists with a private message, asking for a collaboration, or maybe even just advice on how to pr improve your work, or what area you could really get better at, or something like that. These artists will see you as someone putting out real effort to try and grow as an artist. And we respect that a lot more than people who just ask for a subscription in the comment section. It's easy to just put a comment out there and say, oh, I need subscribers, but it's really hard and really challenging for a lot of people to write an email to someone and ask for advice. It's humbling to do that, and it really garners a lot of respect, at least for me. I really respect people who ask for advice, or ask to collaborate, or even just ask to be friends, to get to know me better, or something like that. Uh, and it's really, really um, a big compliment to a lot of artists to get private messages like that. For me, it doesn't happen a whole lot, but when it does, it often will prompt ideas for me for, like, if someone asks a question for a video, like a, a tutorial, or just, it just, it's a really great way to put yourself in someone else's mind, where that, the, if they're thinking of a collaboration in the future, they might think of you because you reached out to them. <laughs> Now I'm going to get going because I'm starting to get really warm. It's very hot in my art room right now. But these are basically the things that I wanted to talk about. There are a lot more ways to self-promote and I'll probably comment a few when I'm done with this and when I think of more ideas. But 
I really appreciate you guys listening in on this video while I do this illustration. I'm sorry I didn't talk too much about the art, but I did talk about the dragon that I did last week. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed the tips that I had and I hope it helped you. If you would like to see more of my content, please subscribe and hit that notification bell down there by that little subscribe button uh, because that will give you guys notices whenever I upload a video. Uh, I've noticed that my view count has really tanked lately and I'm suspicious that maybe it's because of this new notification thing. Uh, and I really hope that you guys would like to check out my other social media and shops. And I have all of those little icons here in my end card. And I think that it's really helpful when people uh, support artists like myself because we are all just trying to get ourselves out there just like the subject of this video. Uh, if you would like to um, maybe earn a shout out in my little shout out square. Uh, in the future, I will be putting things there um, from my Instagram where if somebody hashtags uh, Art by Karen E. Haley in their artwork that they post on Instagram, I will look through those and put a few shout outs here in that little square. Uh, also, I have my dragon video in my little preview square from last week, and that is the companion to this unicorn piece. And if you want to hear more about the actual process of that illustration, it was a lot like this one, and you can learn more of the tips for that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. And if you want to catch up with me during the week, I am on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.